faces are as beautiful, challenging, or full of contrasts as Antarctica. Coastal waters teem with marine creatures. But far inland, there are no signs of life. Thick glacial ice sheets have accumulated over millions of years and cover 98% of the continent. Deep in the interior, the sun never sets during Antarctic summers, and winter is one long night. Within the interior is the vast, featureless Antarctic Plateau. With little snowfall, this is the highest, windiest, and coldest desert on Earth. Near the center of the plateau is 90 degrees south latitude, the South Pole. In the early 1900s, this was the last great geographical prize on Earth still to be claimed. In 1902, Royal Navy Captain Robert Scott made the first attempt on the South Pole. Blizzards, severe frostbite, and malnutrition forced Scott and his men to turn back. Captain Scott's expressive account of his difficult and dangerous journey brought him worldwide fame. Newly married and with an infant son, Robert Scott organized another British Antarctic expedition in 1909. In preparing the ship Terra Nova, and hiring his crew, Scott emphasized the expedition's scientific goals. If the British again failed to reach the Pole, they could still be proud of their valuable research in geology, biology, and atmospheric physics. Once the Terra Nova was fully loaded for the journey, there was barely room for the 65 men on board. By October 1910, the British Antarctic Expedition was already en route south when Captain Scott received an unexpected telegram from a Norwegian explorer. Beg leave inform you. Proceeding Antarctic. Amundsen. Suddenly, Scott found he was locked in a race to be first at the South Pole. 